One, two, three. Oh, that's so deep. Are you ready for an awesome treasure hunting adventure? Because we and this lot are going to throw our giant magnets down a well that's 1,000 years old. So this is going to be awesome. You ready, Adam? I am, mate. Luke, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Always ready. Nikki, are you ready? I'm ready. The whole gang of us are ready, so I hope you are. Let's do this. Yeah. Magnets away. <laughs> We've got these metal bits here we just have to be careful of, but we can drop the magnet down here and it should be fine. As long as we don't get too many big swords, you know, they might get stuck on the way up. We get two <laughs> swords at once, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I reckon we should start off by putting a torch down there, then we'll stick the GoPro down there, then we'll stick the magnet down there. So here's the torch we're gonna use. It's actually a waterproof torch, this one. So we're gonna drop it down and then into the water and hopefully it shines up to show how deep it is. But it's so, it's just incredible that this hole was dug that's that old, that's so deep. And it's wide. And it's wide down there. You're like, it's thin on the top and looks super modern up here, but down there, let me shine the torch on. I'll put it on like 6,000 looms. Have a look at that. There's, is that metal over there? That's timber. Timber, yeah. I'd imagine that's what they use to get in and out of. Excitement level would 11. You, <laughs> would you go down there on the road? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, people must have gone down there to service the pump, which used to feed the house. Okay, this well doesn't look a thousand years old, but it's actually older. The conservatory is new, but this well was dug originally in the year 991. The plan is to tie a GoPro to a torch and lower it all the way down on a rope because it's so deep, we can't see the bottom. And before we throw the magnet in, we want to know we're not going to get our magnet stuck. So now let's drop the GoPro down and see what's at the bottom of this it's well. All right, oh, it's working. Look at that Go GoPro. All the way down. Look at it light up the whole way down there. That is awesome. Look at the timbers. It's so deep. I'm just lowering it down. The depth of this well is so deceiving. It looks like the water is just there, not far away. But you guys are going to find out that is totally not the case. This well is crazy deep. Oh my gosh. That is so deep. Tom, you're an archaeologist. Why would they dig a hole this deep? I guess they're trying to find a reliable water table. You, you wouldn't think that, because we're on the top of the hill here. Yeah, I mean, I guess... It would make more sense to be down near a creek, wouldn't it? Not if you lived up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They built the house. Wrong spot, huh? Mm. That is the end of yeah, the 20 metre rope right, right there. Crazy. It is... Incredibly deep. Rope number two. Rope number two, and I say we're about, what would you say, like five? It's hard to tell from this height, isn't it? Hello, this is Bondi Treasure Hunter Canal Cleaning Service. How can we help you? It's what? Still brick? It's still brick? I can't read really it. Yeah. Let's hopefully see on the camera. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put this down. Okay. All right, we're definitely on the second rope now. So that is 20 meters right there. There's three feet in a meter, so that's about 60 feet. What do you think that is on the side? Did you see that? Water pipe, that's Alcathene water pipe. I can see the blue on it. That's all the pump mechanism, I guess. Yeah, so somebody's been down pump. there to install all that. Yeah, I wonder if they went in the water. But you're talking pre, pre-70s. pre Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. GoPro's about to get wet. Oh, that is amazing. Look how cool that is, the lighting up the water. Are we in the water? I think we're in the water because it's holding straight now. Oh my gosh, Nikki, see if you can zoom in there to s with the camera on like six times zoom to see if you can see anything in that water. That is awesome. The GoPro's still sinking down there. It does look like a tennis racket, doesn't it? Did it? Did it look like a tennis racket? to me, yeah. Oh my gosh, I wonder how deep it goes. Like the rope's still going. It's basically, if I drop it, it would just fall out of my hands like that. Look at that, we're at the end of the second rope, Adam. It could be the weight oh, of me. It that's be the 40 of the metres it deep. Be, it could be the weight of the rope, mate. Okay, because it's not moving now, is it? No, it's, uh, it's the All weight right. of the rope, yeah. Okay. Time to pull it up. Let's see what we get on this camera, hey? Okay. This is extremely cool. 
I feel like Columbo in it. There so we go. Moving now, yeah. From there, yeah. So you've got. How that's where, wherever your hand is there is the point of the, yeah. how deep the whole thing is. Yeah. So how far is that from the uh, the end? It's about halfway then, ten meters. So it's about thirty meters deep. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to see the torch down there, huh? Can you imagine being down there? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go, I got your GoPro, there he's out. Okay, you can just see the camera coming up. My legs are burning <laughs> from bending over. I just hope the GoPro and the torch is still on there, is it there? Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> the GoPro's still on, we got a bit of a tangle. It's pretty cold. Oh my God, feel how cold that is. Oh yeah. Cause that's a hot torch. Super cold. Yeah, really cold. I'm gonna turn him off. Now let's have a look at the footage. That is cool. Creepy, huh? Super creepy. Voice changes as it goes deeper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sounds creepy when I talk. <laughs> Look at those timber logs there, you see? On the side. Here we go, this is kind of a ring there. Yeah. You can barely hear our voices now, can you? A lot of water going down. Here we go. Getting in the water now. Got a lot to tangle on there. Yeah. What is that? Um, cables or is that someone it's else's like rope? Oil rope is it? Yeah. It's, like rope, it's yeah. someone's rope's been tangled there. Oh, this is super exciting. All right, we're about to get wet here. We're about to get wet. It's clear, isn't it? Super clear. Very it's perfect. Clear. I can't wait to get in. See the reflection. I think as soon as the torch goes under the surface, the glare goes. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Okay, it's about to go now. Here we go. Oh, that's the bottom there. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it. There's loads of stuff down there. What is that? There's always going to be a golf ball down there, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gone quiet. Oh, what's that? Did you see that? Ah, oh, I dropped it down, that's it. That's that is a, a pan, isn't it? That's a that frying, frying pan. pan. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought it looked like a tennis racket. You were right, Tom. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's this side. Yeah. yeah. Someone's throwing a frying pan. I'm not doing the dishes. <laughs> yeah, it's just stopped there now. So, and then I pull it up. Wow. Chip pan fire. They've come straight out the back door of the house. Quick, oh, that's amazing. Well. All right. It seems like we've got a frying pan to find oh, down there, Adam. Yeah. At least. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? Okay. Look at all that. It's, it's coming back out. You can see all these white, it's almost like pottery. Loads of pottery. Oh, so Look at it all. Oh my gosh. You see way more coming out than going in. Wow, look at all that stuff. It kind of looks looks like you're in one of those underwater expeditions that go down to the Titanic. Yeah, yeah. Make sure I don't drop it. Have you got him? Yep. Yeah. You ready to never see this map okay. again? It won't be the first one. <laughs> okay. Oh. Good luck, mate. Oh, Adam. <laughs> he had one job, which was to miss that. <laughs> was that on the way in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you got your gloves? That woke me up. Exciting times, mate. Okay, now that we've put the GoPro down, it's time to try and get this giant magnet all the way to the bottom of the well. It's gonna be difficult because there is some metal on the sides, and if the magnet gets attracted to it, it's just gonna zap onto the side. So at first attempt, we're just gonna lower it down slowly. Yep, keep lowering. I'm chasing you down with a GoPro. 
Maybe Tom, if you can put that other rope onto the end of Adam's rope there as well. I think Adam's all right for me. He's all right, but I don't think this is long enough, is it, Adam? It's 30 meters. Okay. So. Oh, that should be just, just about enough then. I'm guiding you with the light. I'm just. We need a light down there because it's such a deep tunnel and there's some things on the side. We don't want to get the magnet caught on the way down all the way up. This is the coolest adventure I think I've ever been on. And we're not even going anywhere. Have a little look there. Yeah. Oh. Did you hit something? You got something, man. I hit something. Where are you? You're on the side. You didn't even make the bottom. No. No. Hang on. Where are you? Don't pull it up. I'm just going to go down and try and see where you are. Where is your magnet? It's on the side down there. It's what? It's not even in the water? No. You're I don't think me. so. I don't, I can't tell. I'm going to, uh, how much rope have I got left here? Ah, oh, this is complicated, huh? Pull it fast, Adam, sharp and fast. Oh, man. No. What are you stuck on, man? That's pulling back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's off, okay. Right, well. Keep it over this side. Okay, hold it, just let it... Right, it's loose. Okay, it's loose. Right, let it settle and then we'll go straight down the middle. Okay, we've decided it's, there's some metal on the side of the wall, so each time we lower it, it's dangling and hitting the side, getting attracted to it, so we're going to drop it on three, two, one. What did that... We're still, oh, going, down. We're still going down. Where's the other bit of rope then? We need more rope. Good news is we haven't hit, hit anything. I'll grab the rope. I never thought it's so hard to get a magnet wet. <laughs> it's taken half an hour just to get the magnet in the well. Right. Okay. Yeah. And down it goes. Are you going to drop him? Should be okay. Yeah, I've got it. That's, that's bouncing on the bottom. All right. Give, oh. it a, give it a jig around until you get something, mate. We're not coming we up empty. We're not coming up empty handed from this. Oh, yeah, it's coming out of the water. We got, have we got something? Oh, I'm hearing noises. What have you got? Oh, hang on, Adam. I don't think you got, oh yeah, yeah he's, got something. he's got something. Okay, pull it from this side, Adam. So it doesn't get the, uh, the, the lining on that side. Oh, it's come off. Oh, no. What, are you joking? Just to get one magnet down in the water and up is really difficult because there's iron on the side of it and it's so deep and the, the rope's just swinging. And it's so hot in here, I can't even tell you. Can you see there, Tom? Has he got anything? Oh, oh that was huge, man. You had something massive on there. <laughs> Did you hear the splash? Did you hear that? Oh my gosh, the good dude. <laughs> I swear it took like 10 seconds before it came up yeah. here. Boom. <laughs> oh no, man. Okay, here we go, careful with this edge. We're gonna drag it over this way. Nice one. All right, first magnet of the day. What Big have we bolt. got? A bolt. <laughs> There's lots of rusty iron. I think that's what you pulled off the edge down there, huh? And one bolt, all that for one bolt. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, because it takes so long to drop, lower it down, we're gonna throw it down. So we've got the 40 meters of rope here. I'll get it past this iron beam at the start and then lower it down with my arm. We're using the beast magnet, the strong one. So you've got a good chance we're gonna lose it. But this is for you guys. So, are you ready? Fingers crossed. Are you ready, mate? I'm ready. Okay. One, two, three. We have a direct hit! <laughs> yeah. Did you hear the splash? I was like, boom. Okay, I'm gonna keep it over this side because I know there's loads of metal over there. I wonder if I've got anything. Oh, I can see the magnet. You can see the magnet? Yeah, I just saw it waving. Really? Yeah, I can't see it. There's nothing big on it. No? Mm. You seen the magnet yet? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have a frying pan on there. Ah, oh, there he is there. Okay. All right, just have to be careful here. Oh, he's got something. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, on just be careful of your hands. I'm going to drag it over this way. 
We've got something on here. Oh, got the edge. Oh, no. We're underneath. Oh, okay, that's all right. I'll put my glove on and get it. This is an extremely difficult magnet fishing situation. There's just little bits of metal everywhere that you haven't seen, and just getting this magnet to the bottom is so frustrating, but we're going to give it one more try because I'm not leaving here without some treasure. What have we got? Absolutely nothing! My gosh, is that it? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! One, two, three, go! Magnets away! Whoa! Straight down direct hit, that is so cool! Yeah. Just jiggle it around. Like lift it up and drag it to the left, drag it to the right. What do you got there, mate? Is there something on it? Some pliers. A pair of pliers. Oh, we've got a pair of pliers! Look at that! All right, Adam, can you pull this torch up? Yeah, keep going. We've got something. That's We've got better. something. That bit of work than a pair of pliers, isn't it? They're from the 70s then, you reckon? Possibly. Don't worry, yeah, yeah. That is so cool. Look at that. You've got the magic touch. That is awesome. Just watch the okay, you have to bring it over this side here. Oh, nice one. Like a pro. Oh, look at the mud on there. That is bizarre. I've never seen anything like that before. No. No, this is lime scale, isn't it? This it is. is. Oh, it's oh. lime scale. Oh my it's, gosh! It's, it's becoming a, a stalactite. It's gonna be. It's gonna be like a petrified. Yeah. Pliers in the process. That is so cool. Ah, have you ever seen that before? No one. Look at it just come off. They've been in there that long. It's. It sounds like glass. That. It, what's the process of this called? Like, is it? Calcification, I think. It's the same, the same process that forms stalactites and stalagmites. So these would have turned into Calcium like petrified water. pliers. Listen to that. That's the that. They're stainless at the chrome, so they Look should clean that. up quite well. They'll maybe. clean up quite well. Should I bash them off outside? and mm. Let's clean it up. Look underneath. That is amazing. Yeah, that is, yeah. That's a good millimetre thick. That's a millimetre thick. It's like glass It's that thick. It's been it's down there a long time. That. You know what? I don't want to do it because I think it's so cool. I'm going to keep it like that. <laughs> and I can tell underneath that it does look, you know, perfect condition underneath. Yeah. It's just been perfectly preserved. What do you think about that? Yeah. I've never seen anything like that before. It's just yeah. such perfect pristine conditions down there. It's been sat there for probably 40 years since the 70s, maybe 50 years, and had this slow layer just build up on it and preserve it perfectly. And if we had left it there for another 900 years, I think we would have had like a fossil on our hands. <laughs> Super cool.